these athletes broke the rules and faced the consequences. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 unsportsmanlike moments in sports. Oh, you hate to see this! For this list, we're focusing on displays of bad behavior, unsportsmanlike conduct, and violence during or after sporting events that simply made our jaws drop. The porn liquid over. What a disgraceful showing from the Pistons fans here. Number 10, Bill Romanovsky and the Monday Night Football Incident. It wasn't his first altercation, and it wouldn't be his last. However, we've chosen the Monday Night Football game where Bill Romanovsky projected bodily fluid onto an opponent. That's right, the Denver Bronco linebacker spit in J.J. Stokes' face after the San Francisco 49ers wide receiver allegedly goaded him to do it. Mm. Ooh, and there is a, a real lack of social graces on the part of uh, Romanowski in any country. <laughs> the incident also raised issues of racism since Billy is Caucasian and Stokes is African American. Spitting in a guy's face, in a guy's face does not belong on a football field. You know, it, it's inexcusable, you know. Um, I wish I could have that back. I can't, you know. Number nine, the shoe incident. Fights are pretty commonplace in hockey, but even for the rock'em sock'em playing style of the 70s, this brawl involving a Boston Bruins defenseman and New York Rangers fan was really out of the norm. Oh, this could be bad. Oh, there go the Bruins. To catch a spectator who'd assaulted a player, the Bruins team leapt into the stands. They're gonna pull that guy apart. But most shocking was when Mike Milbury hit the offender with his shoe, resulting in multiple player suspensions and fines. We've got a lot of peacemakers over there now. Most of the uniformed attendants are there trying to form a barricade between the Bruins and the fans. Number eight, the attack on Nancy Kerrigan. Kerrigan was at a practice session right next door at Kobo Arena. She was coming off the ice, getting ready to do an interview with a reporter from Pittsburgh, when all of a sudden she was attacked. While the Olympics are competitive, this went beyond anything we'd come to expect from figure skating. Why? Why? <laughs> to increase her chances at the Olympics, Tanya Harding conspired to have rival Nancy Kerrigan taken out of the picture. <laughs> and her nose some hard, hard black stick. Kerrigan was then unable to participate in the U.S. Figure Skating Championship, clearing the way for Harding's victory. Though both made the Olympic team, Harding eventually faced charges for her involvement. What a great moment for Nancy Kerrigan. Number 7, Roberto Alomar and the Spitting Incident. He may be one of baseball's most talented second basemen, but that doesn't mean he always kept himself in line. During a 1996 game against the Blue Jays, Roberto Alomar objected to John Hirschbeck's call by spitting in the umpire's face. Though the Baltimore Orioles player claimed Hirschbeck had made racist comments, Alomar was suspended for five games. The two eventually reconciled. Everybody made mistakes in life, and I did make a mistake, and hey, life goes on. Number six, the Boston Marathon cheater. Though Rosie Ruiz maintained she ran the Boston Marathon in its entirety for years after, it's generally accepted that the Cuban-American cheated her way to the finish line. The fact that Ruiz barely broke a sweat and wasn't familiar with common runners' terms was just the starting point for people's suspicions. Is, is someone coaching you or advising you? Uh, no, I advise myself. <laughs> for while there wasn't any video surveillance, Witness reports that she took the subway, and official investigations ultimately revealed the truth. Nobody knew yet was that six months before, Rosie allegedly took a subway to the finish line of the New York Marathon. So this was actually her second ruse, and she almost pulled it off. Her big mistake was coming in first. Number five, Luis Suarez and the bite incident. Though the Liverpool player was charged with the racially motivated abuse of Manchester United's Patrice Evra in 2011, it's the violent conduct charge he accepted two years later that lands here. While playing a Premier League match, Luis Suarez sunk his teeth into Chelsea player Bronislav Ivanovic. Looks like he's actually sunk his gnashes in there. Instead of the standard three-game ban, the Liverpool forward was forbidden from playing 10 for the serious nature of his actions. This is not the first time he's bit someone in a football match. It just can't happen again. I firmly believe this puts him in the last chance saloon as a Liverpool player. Number four, the Black Sox scandal. 
This scandal caused so much damage to baseball that officials banned the players involved for life. Referring to the conspiracy between eight White Sox players and pro gamblers to deliberately lose the 1919 World Series games. The way I figure we can't be beaten. We can only beat ourselves. You fellas know what I mean. This fixing of the MLB championship also achieved notoriety for the alleged participation of legendary athletes like Shoeless Joe Jackson. Number three. Tyson versus Holyfield 2. Here we go again, the rematch we've waited a long time to see. Mike Tyson was already seen as a wild and crazy boxer, but his 1997 rematch against Evander Holyfield topped anything and everything else he'd done in the ring. Oh, and some nasty stuff in there. There need to be a bite almost. During the sound and the fury fight, Tyson didn't only bite his opponent on the ear once, but twice. There he bites him there. You see him lift his teeth. And Holyfield in agony at that point, trying to rip free. He was disqualified and later stated his actions were in response to Holyfield's unpenalized headbutting. I went back out there again and I caught him with good shots and he bit my ear on purpose again. Number two, Malice at the Palace. Oh, Malice right at our chest. This has potential to be serious if they don't get between. Though the Indiana Pacers and Detroit Pistons fight began on the court, it quickly degenerated into the NBA's most infamous brawl when they took it to the stands. Our test is in the stands! After a spectator threw a drink at Ron Artest, pro b-ballers and fans began throwing punches and drinks at each other. The Pacers-Pistons brawl led to multiple player suspensions and criminal charges for several fans. Oh, what a sad scene here at the Palace. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Bertuzzi goes after him and he lands on him right there and then the pile lands on Steve Moore. Looks like he's out at that point. Oh my goodness. Don Zimmer and Pedro Martinez. And Simon's retaliation on Hallwig, nothing short of shocking, a cheap shot of the highest order. Simon was given 10 and a game for intent to injure. The number 84, the brilliant receiver. Daryl Stingley, and then this, that collision between Tatum and Stingley. Stingley, now a paraplegic, except for some movement in the right arm. At the plate, and he's not happy. Thinks he's being thrown at, so of course he kicked the catcher. The pitcher was blazed to Damien, you know, he's running for cover at that point. A bench-clearing heated discussion, and a pile-up as well. Number one, Zinedine Zidane headbutts Marco Materazzi. Oh, wow. It was during France's return to the 2006 World Cup Finals when seemingly out of nowhere, Zinedine Zidane used his noggin to hit Marco Materazzi in the chest. He must have said something because he comes back and nails him like that, wow. Zidane was sent off the pitch and Italy won the game in the shootout. He makes it! Italy, World Cup champions 2006! It was later revealed that the Italian player had taunted and insulted Zidane. While this kind of behavior wouldn't necessarily be considered the craziest reaction in a normal game, the fact that it occurred during the world's biggest game and on the biggest stage lands it on top. So this World Cup final has taken a nasty turn. Matarazzi and Zidane have been going at it throughout the match. Do you agree with our list? What do you think is the most unsportsmanlike moment in sports? With new top tens published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You have to make sure you provide adequate security so these kinds of incidents don't escalate to the astronomical proportions that it did tonight. That is the bottom line.